video we're going to have a look at a suite of plugins from WP Vivid and it's called the WP Vivid Backup and Migration plugin. This is the plugin over here and inside this plugin you have a suite of products. You have the Backup and Migration Free and Pro, the Image Optimization Free and Pro, Staging and Dev Environment Pro. And then we also have the main WP extension, which is basically the installer for installing all of these in one go. So in order to install this entire suite of products, simply head over to the installer. And in the installer, you'll be asked which plugins to install. And as you can see, you can just tick through the list and that will then install all the plugins for you. So a really nice way of installing this complete suite of products. If we go back to the dashboard, you'll see that it's called the Backup and Migration plugin. So it has some really great uh, backup options. And then, of course, the facility to migrate. So just to have a look at that, the <clears throat> first step along the way then is to do a manual backup, something you might want to do on the fly. The nice thing about this is that you have several options here. The backup can be saved to your local host, but there are also several cloud options and we'll have a look at those now but before we do you can see here that when we look at the backup and this will apply for the auto backup or the backup schedule as well so this is not just for uh, the manual backup but you can go in and select your databases whether they're the tables in the wordpress database or to include additional databases and inside that database you can then also select the tables that you would like to migrate so a whole lot of choices there and even right down to individual tables so that's what's really nice about the database side files and folders works in the same way you can come through here and select or deselect various uh, folders that you want or don't want to move across and then there's even another option for exclude files and folders where you can then exclude specific other files and folders from the migration or from the backup so a lot of nice tools and features there so that you just back up the information that you want to back up so once you've made your choice um, with the manual backup then you would simply hit the button to backup backup now and the data would then be backed up to the location of your choice so if you didn't want to do it to your local host then you can have a look here at the cloud storage options and in the cloud storage options you have a lot of choice so already pre-built into the system are the popular ones like google drive uh, dropbox microsoft one drive amazon services uh, p cloud sd compatible storage you can even ftp or sftp the backup to the location of your choice and then there's wasabi and then also backblaze storage so the nice thing is that you have several options available to you when it comes to doing the backup the other nice thing about the backup is you can also create a backup schedule and here you have a choice you can do incremental backups or you can just do a general backup now you can't have both running at the same time so you get to decide if you'd like to just go with a general backup and if that is your choice then you would then create a new schedule here and in that new schedule you would then determine the backup, when the backup is to be done, where it will be saved to, localhost, or to remote storage. And then, of course, you have the choice of what files and tables in the database you'd like to back up. If you go for the incremental backup, you have a few more options available to you. You can actually schedule then the full backup for files or and the incremental backup for files. So the big one and then small incremental backups each day and then also to do the database backup so these could be weekly and as you can see we just do the incremental backup on an hourly basis but if you wanted to then change the schedule very easy just a drop down and you might want to make it uh, a daily backup on your database and on files you might only want to do that big one on a weekly basis with incremental backups then every hour or maybe just every eight hours depending on your requirements and you also then when you're doing the incremental backups 
have the option then to set the files and database tables that you'd like to back up but then also you get to choose to perform a full backup immediately when enabling incremental backup which just means that all the backups will then run incrementally from that main big backup so very easy when it comes to backups to either do manual or to schedule and if they are scheduled they will run in the background on your website as and when scheduled to do so you also then have the backup and restoration page so this is typically where you would go if you wanted to restore backup and once again you 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 have several options you can scan for all backups but you also have a uh, an option to check out the remote storage and you can also upload a backup if you wanted to restore that backup so you even have that option you also have an auto migration tool then that works with the backup of the website and the auto migration could happen in two ways um, automatically if everything goes well and everything cooperates on the servers then basically you would generate the backup you would generate a key and there's no backup at the moment so the key may not generate oh, there's the key so you have this key and you would simply take that key and then on the website you want to migrate to is insert that key and then hit the save button and the migration would take place so very nice very easy if that doesn't work you can do a manual backup download the backup go to your backup and restoration and then upload the backup and then just restore that backup once it's been uploaded so you have several options available to you uh, with backups and then even to migrate websites so it's more than just a backup tool it's um, a, a migration tool as well with cloud storage options available which takes it just one step beyond a standard backup tool then we look at the image optimization the nice thing about the image optimization is that it not only optimizes your image but you can also select to set it to convert to the WebP format so now your images are also converted to the WebP format so you get that added benefit for SEO and for Google purposes at the same time then you have the lazy load option so very simple then you can choose what to lazy load so here you can enable or disable and then of course the different formats and the nice thing about the um, lazy load is that it just means that when somebody loads the page that it just loads the information that they need to immediately see what's on the screen and the balance of images or resources would then be loaded as they scroll down the page so the um, lazy load facility is available straight out the box um, the staging sites is a little bit different staging sites operate in their own little plugin so once you've selected staging sites here you'll see you'll be redirected to the WP vivid staging and the nice thing here is as you can see I have two staging sites so you can create as many staging sites as you want the other thing is that you also get to choose this prefix so that's just a random prefix or here yeah, we've created our own prefix and then also the table prefix in the database you'll see we've made it the same as the staging site there and here in this default setting it's just chosen a random set of letters so you once you've created your staging site you copy everything across once you're happy with the changes you can then just copy the staging site to live and that will then essentially copy the information back to the website and as with the uh, the settings on the backup you also get to either go with the default settings for the database and uploads folder or you can decide on custom content once you've selected that you get to choose the tables in the database or files and folders or if you want to exclude additional files or folders but the nice thing here is that you decide what you want to copy across to staging and what you want to copy across from staging back to live so if you don't have to do all the database tables you can simply select the tables 
that are required and if you're not moving all the files across just select the folder that you need and it'll be moved across quite easily so that also helps to speed up things when you're working with the live and staging environment so we're just going to head back to the main plugin so staging is a great tool when you need to get signed from a client before making a website live uh, the CDN integration quite easy simply enter your CD integration details and that will then do an integration with your CDN provider there's also a nice feature here that looks at um, cleaning up unused images so if you have a lot of images on your website that you don't need you can then have the uh, plugin scan for them and then isolate that media and then decide if you want to delete those images or not there's also a function here to export or import data and this looks like it's going to be expanded on in coming releases and the nice thing then is that when you export or import the data it when you import it will actually import the images as well so it's not going to be referencing images on another server and then it also has this URL replacing tool so if in that data would have references to let's say the site it was coming from here you can just simply run that URL replacing tool and it will then update the URLs in the information that's been copied across now the settings portion of this web of this plugin is actually quite big uh, there are a lot of advanced features here that you can look into when you are setting it up to work the way that you want it to work you have the backup settings advanced backup settings roles and capabilities to determine you know who can do what with the plugin you've got the unused image cleaner some settings there and then you have quite a lot of settings again under image optimization anything from which server to use which images to optimize the type of optimization to be done and the colors the, even the this the images that need to be updated the, the sizes so really a lot of um, settings that you can look into if you really want to and then of course you have the option to save to convert the jpg and png files to webp and even to convert gif to webp and enable webp format on your site simply select and that will activate it so that's great for google and the seo side of things um, so these are just some settings that you might want to go through but this is part of what makes this plugin <coughs> such a great plugin in that you can really um, fine tune it and tweak it to work the way that you would like it to work uh, if you have any issues there's a nice big debug section here and the support is great if you have any issues they will respond to you will look into the issue and see how they can help you as I said the installer is there just to make it easier to install it. and then of course you have your license information just one other thing that we can quickly have a look at and here if we look at the dashboard you'll see we have the schedule and what the schedule does is it allows you to schedule all the items like image optimization we had a look at the database backup so your site essentially then looks after itself in the background optimizing images removing images that aren't required and doing the backups you don't have to focus or log in every day to take care of those tasks and then of course you have the staging to production uh, once you've made your changes you can even put a password lock on the staging site so nobody else can access so those are just some of the things that make this a really great plugin. In terms of licenses available, you have some good choices there. So, so when it comes to pricing, this is what's available. You have two options really. You can go for a subscription or lifetime offer. And you can just see here that on the trial, you have free 14 days. You want to test it out, take, uh, make use of the trial, and you can see how most of the features work some of them have been turned off because this is obviously not a full pro um, install but you really get a good idea of how it all fits together and how it works and then of course you can choose whether you're going to need a two domain 10 domain 50 or unlimited domain license and there's also a lifetime offer here and the same thing for the 
uh, two domain 10 50 and unlimited domains with a 40 or 40 percent off at the moment but even without the discount the plugin is well worth the money when it comes to the support and we have a look at the docs you'll see that the documentation is comprehensive you can go in and have a look at any one of these items and you will see a comprehensive list of topics there's screenshots <coughs> there's all the information you need to upskill yourself on the features of each of these uh, modules within the plugin so just to recap then it's the WP vivid backup and migration plugin which can be f found at wpvivid.com um, which is a host of tools then that takes care of your backups uh, migrating websites staging and production optimizing images and also getting rid of the images you don't want but then also allows most of these tasks then to run on a schedule so you don't have to do any daily maintenance uh, to know that the site is being looked after so hope you um, take a look at this plugin it's well worth every cent uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching